I wanted to take a, a, a moment to just chat uh, with you about some of the police officer injuries that I see. You know, working here at, at Restore has given me a, a unique perspective on taking care of police officers. Uh, we see quite a number of, of police officers from some of the, the local agencies in the area. And because of this uh, large volume of uh, police officer uh, patients that I have, it's given me a unique perspective in understanding uh, the injuries that they experience, uh, how they occur, and how to treat them. Uh, I really believe that, that taking care of police officers uh, is almost um, like uh, having a, a unique uh, subspecialty in orthopedics because they're like uh, a unique set of people that have uh, unique uh, work requirements. Uh, they have a unique culture, uh, uh, obviously a unique job. And they, often, and they do this for uh, years on end. Uh, they're highly motivated. Uh, it's very difficult to uh, uh, get through the academy and difficult to uh, be a police officer. Uh, and it's a, it's a physically taxing job, emotionally taxing job. And, and with that comes uh, certain challenges, physical challenges, emotional challenges. So some of the physical challenges that I see are those uh, related to shoulder injuries. Uh, what I've learned uh, uh, from taking care of the police officers and, and what they uh, relate to me is that uh, they have a lot of equipment that affects uh, their uh, ability to do their job. But it's necessary. They have to have this equipment to do their job. So it's a double-edged sword. You have equipment that's necessary to do your job, but it's also equipment that uh, affects you physically. So for example, they have their bulletproof vest and they have a utility belt, both of which are, are very heavy. Um, it adds uh, a greater load on, on their uh, skeleton, on their spine, on their hips, on their knees. Uh, so that in and of itself, after, after many years, uh, will cause some problems uh, that are somewhat related to the actual, just the overload. Uh, that same equipment uh, causes them to also um, uh, change the way they do things. So for example, the way they stand, they're always shifting their legs, and that's because the weight of the belt on their hips uh, hurts their hips or even causes numbness. So they, they shift, and that's just something they have to do. They, 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 they just do it without even thinking about it. The belt also uh, leads to them having to sit on their um, uh, car seats in an awkward position. So they're not in, a, they're not in an ideal position uh, for uh, driving long periods of time. And that ends up having uh, or leading to uh, to uh, abnormal uh, spinal positions, and that's because they can't really sit on their seat properly. And then they have to be twisted to work on their computer. So those are some of the challenges they deal with every day. But um, what I see uh, often is uh, shoulder problems in in police officers, and I'm talking about shoulder problems that are due to uh, uh, cumulative effects of this type of overload or trauma or or pathologic comp compensatory positions. So oftentimes what happens is, uh, is because of the, uh, the, the, uh, both the, the vest and what they do uh, as police officers leaning forward, driving like this, uh, the shoulders uh, become painful uh, and stiff. Uh, and, uh, and one of the uh, treatments that can be done before this pain becomes a real problem is stretching. See, so uh, this is what tends to happen. Uh, this is the pathological problem is that the shoulders go forward because a lot of the movements are anterior. There's an anterior load. So they get tightness of the shoulder and they usually present with, with pain in this area. So one of the, um, uh, the approaches that I take is a conservative approach, focus on restoring function, restoring proper mechanics. And that is done uh, through stretching, physical therapy, chiropractic therapy and, and just a, a home program. So what a police officer needs to do when they start to experience shoulder pain is they really need to try to reverse the, the pathological effects that have been present for many years. So it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen with one acupuncture treatment or one chiropractic manipulation. It, it doesn't happen that way. It, what they need to do is, uh, is uh, stick to a program uh, that's a routine. So when they come home, 
they take off all their equipment, what they should do is they really need to stretch their shoulders out. So there's a lot of uh, uh, really good stretches that you can find online. Uh, I put some stretches online under morastretches.com. These are five of the most common stretches that I recommend for the shoulder. So you stretch the shoulder out just to keep it limber, to keep the mechanics uh, proper. Uh, and, and that in and of itself, I have found, has led to a significant reduction of shoulder pain in, in, uh, in police officers. And I'm hoping that with time it will actually prevent them from having uh, progressive problems that lead to rotator cuff tears. So once again, uh, uh, this is a, especially for police officers, first responders, firefighters, it, it, for the most part suffer similar problems. But especially police officers because of the gear and, the, and, the, uh, and, and their job requirements. If you start to have uh, 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 shoulder pain and shoulder tightness, um, uh, you know, yes, you should go see an orthopedic surgeon for evaluation, but also, yes, you should be proactive in taking care of your shoulders on your own. Think about reversing what's happened over, over many years. Think about stretching the shoulders so that you can get your posture back. You want to be able to be able to put your shoulders back. And, uh, and in order to accomplish that, you need to stretch the anterior shoulder. You need to stretch, uh, stretch the pectoralis minor is what we call it. Uh, and, and be able to easily bring your shoulders back. Get it out of this position. So you stretch the anterior shoulders. And like I said, you can look up these exercises on morastretches.com. Or you can just look, go on Google and, and, and look up shoulder stretches. Uh, and, and if you are going to the gym, um, for, to work out with weight work, uh, work on the upper back, work on your scapular stabilizing muscles like your latissimus, uh, work, at, uh, so do things like rows where you're trying to shrug your shoulders back and that way you strengthen the, the, the uh, musculature that supports the scapula and then you do your stretches to loosen up the front of the shoulder. Uh, and that will be a great start for the uh, police officers that are already starting to experience shoulder pain. So once again, get into a, a, a routine. When you get home, you stretch. Uh, when you're working out, uh, before you hit the weights, do your stretches. Uh, if, uh, if it's just not working, make sure you see an uh, a orthopedic surgeon um, or a musculoskeletal specialist, uh, somebody that, that understands injuries and understands how to treat them effectively, efficiently and get your x-ray. Just make sure there, there, there aren't any, um, any problems with the structure. You, you can get an MRI just to make sure you don't have any, uh, any significant tears that are not going to do well with just rehab. So you get that out of the way and then uh, you, know, you might need an injection, maybe, maybe not, but, but, but what I would highly recommend uh, is to do a routine stretching program for your shoulders and I think that will make the biggest difference. So that's, that's my, my tip of the day for uh, police officers who are already starting to experience shoulder pain. Uh, it's something that I'm hoping will, will help you um, avoid having to uh, have surgery in the future. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can go on my webpage. It's myorthodoc.com. And there's actually a link where you can reach out to me if, um, if you have any questions. And hopefully I can help. Thank you. Have a good day.